guys, so it's Wednesday night, I am all showered and finished with dinner and just getting ready to have a bit of a relax and go to sleep shortly. Um, I know the I have been vlogging a little bit for the past few days but it's been a little bit um, odd, I've been in public so it's kind of been hard to you know, speak. <laughs> um, I'm not one of those people who can confidently vlog in public and talk to myself, it's just not something I can do. Basically, for the past three days I've been away for school, I've been up at my res school for my biology um, course. I This is my advanced biology for this year, so I'm in my second year now. So, very enjoyable, but it has been a bit stressful and a bit full on. I have I have to travel um, one and a half hours each way on the bus, so three hours total a day. I've probably mentioned this before, but um, my campus is um, another town over, so it's a lot of traveling, and then I'm there for eight hours every day, so it's a long day. So when I have res schools, I pretty much go to school. I get up very early in the morning, go to school, come home, eat, go straight to bed, and then get up early in the morning. That's pretty much my whole day for the whole time that I'm away. So I am back home now, it's all done. I had a good time but I'm very glad it's over. It's very stressful when you have kids. Also, we had a bit of a drama last night because I was on my way home, I was nearly home on the bus and I got a call from my husband saying that we needed to make a stop to the emergency room because my son had split his head open. So, that was fun. So we had to head off to the emergency department to get that stitched up. Um, luckily it didn't need sutures, it just got the, um, the adhesive stitches, the glue. So that's really good, but it was a little bit scary. It was a head wound and they bleed a lot, but he was fine. Um, by the time we arrived and we were waiting in the emergency room, he was hyperactive and yelling and carrying on and wanting to look at everything and very excited about seeing the ambulances. So he was absolutely fine. He's been fine all day today. So that's good, but you know, not great when I was tired after a long day and pretty much had to spend, I think we were there for about four hours at the emergency room. So I didn't get home until late, I didn't eat until late. Um, pretty much just fell into bed and then had to get up early and head off to uni again this morning. So not ideal, but what can you do? That's been my week. I will try to be a bit better about the vlogging for the rest of the week. I'll try. I can't make any promises. I'm pretty forgetful. Um, and I do have work Saturday. I have a big wedding all day and obviously for privacy reasons I won't vlog my clients but good morning guys it's Thursday don't mind my like complete lack of makeup I just got out of bed really um, I had a shower and got dressed the plan for today was uh, it's Thursday by the way the plan for today was I was going to go uh, the whole family was going to go up and visit my grandparents but they've woken up not feeling very well this morning so they just gave me a call and said um, they're not feeling very well, they don't want the kids to catch it, so of course we don't want that either. So today's going to be a stay at home day, which I'm kind of happy about. The last three days have been a bit crazy. I'm pretty tired and a bit run down. I've got another sinus infection, which, you know, that's just my life really. Um, but I'm feeling pretty good. I'm happy this morning. We've got to sleep in put to 7.30, so you know, that's my idea of sleeping anyway. It was really nice, I feel pretty happy and, and good, well within myself today, so. Um, Hubby's going to study today, I think my plan is mostly going to be just, uh, I've got a lot of planning to catch up on, I haven't even started planning this week and I'm really excited about the kit I'm using. Um, so I'm going to probably do that, I'm going to clean up my planning desk because it's a mess, it's really bad. <laughs> I've just been tossing all my happy mail and everything on top of my desk, which I try not to do, but my house is such a mess at the moment, you guys know, the renos. So the office reno has pretty much ground to a halt because we're well into semester now and we just, it took a lot longer to do all the puttying and everything. We didn't expect it to take so many days to dry, so we couldn't really move forward with that. Now we're kind of busy, so it's probably not going to get finished until semester's over, but that's okay. 
we just sort of have to roll with it. But yeah, I'm going to go and play with some Legos with my son. Yeah, hopefully get some planning done. Sounds really good. So this is currently what my planning desk looks like. Yep. Just a complete friggin' mess. Terrible. And this is really driving me crazy, so I have to fix this today. as far as I can get it for now that's just a bit of like a4 paper wrapped around my light just to diffuse the brightness a bit when I have it on I don't use it very much but it's LED so it's a bit bright my planners this one's sitting a bit funny because it's empty so is this one actually but when they're full they'll sit a bit nicer and my little Stella the unicorn she's my little sensi buddy clip I love her, she smells like raspberry. And that's my strawberry mug from Typo. That is all full of die cuts, and that's only a very small fraction of the die cuts that I own. That is just all shop stuff, so it's just all sort of um, bits and pieces for my shop, which is closed at the moment, so I don't really need that out. And then my pencil pouch, my non simply gilded washi there. A small fraction of the pins that I own. These are my Tombows. I actually got some more yesterday, so I'll haul those very shortly. And my like desk planner, that's what that is, and the clips on the little dish. My laminate, of course, that always lives on my desk. I use it a lot. My sticker storage. So it's just like um, file folders with tabs, so I can flick through really quickly. I have a few stickers in here. I have my um, all my natty planning scripts and character stickers in here and then I have all my other character stickers in there and I have a few other different kinds of storage in my sticker albums which I will be doing a video on when I can get around to it <laughs> and then up here I have my Christina Ray mug that I got for Mother's Day just with a little fake peony in the top and then the box which is gorgeous and foiled so of course that's out then my little mail like wire mail rack from Officeworks with a little just a pouch that came in the same set as this one actually but um, they were gifts so don't ask me where they're from because I don't know my washi house from Bunnings which I've painted and that's where all my simply gilded leaves I do have a fair bit more since but I have to hold it so I haven't put it away my little shopping trolley from Kmart with all my little clips bits and pieces in at the moment that was my mother's day card from this year and i'm keeping that out because it's so pretty and it's all silver foil as well so yeah hubby knows me well then i have my frame from daiso with my gp studio you got this girl um, journal card in it as a bit of artwork and then just my pink came up bars with some more fake peonies in it and then i have my planner clip rack just sort of chilling back here it's just sort of Hanging from a command hawk, don't mind my paint swatch wall. <laughs> so yeah, not too bad. 
And I just have this on here. This is just foam board with some marble contact paper on it because I find that this wood grain desk picks up really warm and orange on camera. So I like to film with this out. That's why it's here. And obviously when the office is done, we'll have all nice desks. So I'm not really worried about this one. Now I can finally sit down to plan. Can't wait to use this kit. I love it so much. This is a cotton candy kit from Natty Planning. Look how cute it is. This is for Little Miss Violet's birthday. Which is tomorrow. Can't believe she's won. <laughs> show you a few of the things Violet got for her birthday because it's all super cute so she got quite a few books from friends which is really lovely so this one is from Danny and then this one was from really good friends of ours who uh, we've known since like before any of our kids were born so and they've got two kids as well so they always pick us beautiful books this was one from current uh, Tyson's sister, the Violet's auntie, and then these two are from my uncle and aunt, but like kind of they're my uncle and aunt, but their kids are the same age as our kids, so um, their youngest is the same age as Corin, so um, my son, so yeah, it's kind of they're more like cousins than than like I am cousins with them. <laughs> if that makes sense. It's very confusing, but anyway. Then we got a Bunnykins by Royal Dalton set from Tyson's yeah. mum, from Grandma, which is lovely. So it's just like a Melamine dinner set. We've got another dinner set actually. I'll have to go find that to show you. And then we got this set from my friend Tani, and these little leggings go with it. Very, very cute. I love these sort of pom poms, and it's funny because. Um, my other really good friend <laughs> got me something with pom-poms on it too and this it's this little romper how cute oh, I love this I actually sent her a few <laughs> links to some things I have my eyes on and yeah this was one of them so how oh, freaking cute for summer I love that and then these little leggings from them as well I'm just getting ready to put everything away that's why it's all out and then also from Tyson's mom grandma I've got a couple of little outfits I just love little girls clothes that's cute little summer outfits, just a little cotton unicorn little Pegasus dress. It's very sweet. And then I love this one. You don't see stuff like this very often. I had an outfit very similar to this when I was a baby. It's a little red and white stripe, but it's sort of, like you can see, it's sort of like a soft red, very vintage sort of inspired. It's got little pockets, which I think is adorable. And then, guys, the back. Look at this back little peephole back with a little bow oh, it's just so cute and it's that really nice soft cotton so it'll be nice and cool for her in the summertime it gets really hot here it gets like 45 degrees plus so celsius so really really hot in the summertime and then mum and dad me and my husband got her this so this is the calypso unicorn scentsy buddy she is just adorable. She's got a little horn and a little soft fluffy tail and mane and she's super super soft like so so soft and she smells like strawberry ice cream. I have a strawberry swell scent pack in there so she smells like strawberry ice cream and it's just incredible and she's so cute. Look at her. She's soft. I love her. So she's already got the Eliza the elephant so now she's got a pear which is nice. 
because my son has a pair as well. He has Tucker the Tiger, which was a present for his first birthday as well, and then T-Rex, which he got for his fourth birthday from Grandma, same Grandma who bought these things. So, yeah, they love their buddies. So this is the other dinner set that we got that I haven't opened yet. This is from my grandparents. So it's just a five-piece melamine unicorn set by Ashdeen. So very cute and useful. Just haven't opened it yet because we have so many presents I have to go through. I almost forgot to show you guys these, which would have been a tragedy because they are literally the cutest things I've ever seen. They are little teeny tiny Nikes. <laughs> They're just the cutest thing you've ever seen in your life. How adorable. <laughs> Look at them. Oh my god. They're so little. And of course their mouth's too big for her because she has the tiniest feet I've ever seen. So these are from the same friends who brought us the Ruby Shoes book. So she's been super, super spoiled by them this year. <laughs> just, I can't wait till she can fit these. They're just the cutest thing ever. Oh. Well, guys, I am going to show you Corinne's head. It's healing really nicely. Um, if you're like funny about cuts and stuff, look away. It's There's no open wound or anything. It's all scabbed up now. But this is mainly for my Nana because I know she'll be worried. So. So there it is. It's healing nicely. We had to give him a haircut because um, they put the glue on it and like glued all his hair down there. So, um, but he was due for one anyway, so it's not a big deal. All scabbed up, healing nicely. Doesn't bother him at all. He hasn't even been scratching it. So, hey guys, Sunday night. Nothing interesting happened today. It was all study, and yeah, just spending time with the kids and being a little bit lazy, if I'm honest. So, um, work went well yesterday. I'm pretty tired today. I've had some vertigo and not feeling the best. So, I'm gonna have a shower, wash my damn hair, because it's filthy, and go to bed. So, see you next time. Bye.